Back on the road and it's full steam ahead to Normanton. Exploring this region is an exciting experience and perfect for the four wheel drive enthusiast and outback adventurer. As I've mentioned plenty of times, always be alert as the amount of outback animals along the road is very continuous. Awesome, but continuous. We arrive in Normanton and set up camp at the Golfland Motel and Caravan Park. We sit back, relax, unwind, chew the fat with a couple of locals and a couple of travellers and look forward to what comes of tomorrow. Normanton is the home of the Big Barramundi. Normanton is a small cattle town in the Gulf Country region of North West Queensland. Now it's just south of the Gulf of Carpentaria on the Norman River. The population is around about 1100, 60% of those whom are Indigenous Australians. Among Normanton's most notable features is a statue of an, yes this is right, 8.64 metre long saltwater crocodile. Now it's named Chris, the largest ever taken, which was actually shot by Christina in July 1957 in the Norman River. Well it doesn't matter if it's over 8 metres long like Chris here, or they're only a metre long. I tell you what, when they bite, you are gone skip. The town contains the oldest, intact and operating Burns and Philp store in Queensland. The General Merchantile store and agency office was opened in 1884. Now tourism has taken over and it is now an information centre. Tourism has recently become an important part of the economy of Normanton, with the Golflander a significant draw card. Bino Art and Crafts is a local art gallery employing several local Indigenous artists to produce a wide variety of art pieces in the workshop. From hand painted, these items on display are available to buy. This is it. This is what I love about Australia. When you travel into some of the regional rural country areas, Outback Australia, you get to see some of the historical pubs. And this is no different at the Purple Pub in Normanton. But we are starting to lose them, so they need your support. And you know what? I've given them a fair bit of support over the years. But I've always said, no matter where you are travelling or when you are travelling, the best way to get information is ask the publican or the locals at the best pub in town. We stop off at another historical site. Cumberland was born when gold was discovered here in 1872. Now by the 1890s, there was a mine, tramway, school, post office, police station, a telegraph station and four hotels. But today, only the square brick chimney from the Cumberland Battery remains as a memory of the town. Yet today, it is a great rest area which can be used by overnight campers. Also, the Cumberland Dam, which is alongside the old historical township, is a very popular place for bird watching. The Great Australian Doorstep